So good morning everybody. Here we are. 24th of March. It's 5 to 8. We're on our way to work. You can probably hear. I'm out of breath. I've put extra layers on this morning. I've got a pair of jeans on under my thermal trousers so I can just about move. Right then. Let's get ourselves off to work after last night's announcement of the lockdown. So let's see how many cars I'm on the road. Beautiful morning. I might have to have a bit of a um, bit of sun visor action. God, it is warm. What are we showing? So we might, what? No, I don't know what we're showing. Minus one at the minute, but I don't think it is. I think it's about three degrees because it don't feel cold at all. Let's see what today brings us on day two of a key worker's diary. Well, it's still showing minus one. I don't think it is. I honestly don't think it is that cold. But we're now showing zero. We're coming up. So the lockdown then. So what's everybody's thoughts? Only essential shops will stay open. And I suppose that's defined by what you class as an essential shop. I suppose that's what the owners of the shops <laughs> are going to struggle with because to them I suppose every shop and business is essential so if you're out and about the police have the powers to they can fine you or disperse, grow, cr disperse crowds I mean really that's what the police do sometimes anyhow don't they disperse crowds so Going in anything there. Oh, the one thing I hate is motorway. Oh my god, I can hear the wind noise already. I'm gonna have to remember my earplugs tomorrow. Can't be doing this. You probably can't hear me actually. I bet there's that much wind noise in the helmet. Tell you what, this bike does feel nice on the motorway. It does feel strong and stable. She's not drifting anywhere. Which I did used to get with a blade. It was a nightmare on the motorway. And we're down to 50. So the motorway does seem a little bit more quieter this morning. Not a lot. Oh, actually, no. You look at the other side of the motorway. That's normally the busier side. So, yeah, there is a massive difference this morning. Massive difference. It's going to be a strange time for us, I think. All being confined to our house. But I've made um, an agreement with the wife. Um, I said for my own safety and sanity, I says, and for your safety and sanity, we came to a mutual agreement that when we need supplies from the shop, that I must go and get them on the bike. So at least it gets me out. So what I might do is I might have a little, um, a weekly video vlog of my shopping list. Because obviously what I will do is I will go into the supermarket to get my supplies but I won't be taking my helmet off because that is my protection. So I'll have the helmet on with my shopping list. You never know, we might get up to some mischief in a supermarket. See if we can play a few pranks on people. Might be the first motor vlogger arrested during the coronavirus pandemic who has been tomfooling about 
in a supermarket. But it's not cold this morning, guys. Yeah, I thought it's three degrees now. I've got my winter gloves on. I've got my Oxford trousers on, my Oxford jacket. All feels fine, not cold. Probably didn't need to put my jeans on underneath me, thermal trousers, but it's better than walking around work all day in my thermal trousers. <clears throat> oh, looking at that sky and that sun. If I just try and block out the world for a minute and just pretend we're all going on a tour. And as I look in my mirror now, I can see you all behind me. We're all off to Normandy. We're on our way down to catch the ferry. Although we're already north on the M5. We're going to catch the ferry. And it's going to be a beautiful sunny weekend. We're going to drink lots of ice cold beer. We're going to ride the coastlines with just a summer breeze from the sea blowing into our helmets, keeping us fresh. So come on guys, just, just picture it. Forget what's going on now around you. Look at that sign there above on the motorway. It doesn't say the North Birmingham, it says Normandy, two miles away. All the boys have been tow behind. Everybody's in high spirits. I'll leave that thought with you. I continue my journey to work. Tell you what, this bike's good in the wind. A lovely ride this morning. That's probably one of the most, the most nicest rides on a motor I've had. So we was planning on going to Wales on Sunday, me and Goose and Griffin Jones Touring and a few others of us. But um, obviously that's not going to be on now. We had Ellen Valley booked for the 16th of May. The campsite have put a notification up that their campsite is now closed. So Ellen Valley is kind of on hold. 16th of May. Mm. I don't know if we'll be at a lockdown by then. I doubt we'll be out of lockdown. We've got Normandy booked, 24th of July. That, you know, we, mm, might be close. It might be close. We've then got Walbad Weekender, 31st of July. Same again, that might be close but still possible. And then we've got 29th of August, our Lake Vermi tour, which I'm hoping by then, it is all done and over. It needs to be. Can't be wiping out the summer completely. Five degrees on a summer's morning. No, it's not, it's spring. You can sing, cause you are rubbish. But, it's Tuesday. Tuesday the 24th of March. Wife's birthday tomorrow. So she's going to have a good birthday. Spending it in the house. But I suppose we'll, we'll celebrate her birthday when, when all this is over. Well then guys, I'm leaving it there for now. I'll catch up with you. Might be a dinner time with the goose. Or it might be on my way home. Speak to you later. Thanks for the journey this morning. Hope you enjoyed your little trip to Normandy. Bye for now. Here's the goose. <laughs> so hello. What have you been doing, brushing your teeth? Yeah, I'm going to get them out, so I'm going to go through. 
Great bridge home, go that way. Just till dinner time tomorrow. I like that job, cleaning the drive. Oh yeah. Could hear what he's saying, can you? Yeah, okay, you pigeon, Nick. Yeah, whatever you're saying, you pigeon. Right then. See you tomorrow. All right. See you later. Bye. So there we go. That's day number two done. Just bumped into the goose. So let's get ourselves home. The roads seem a hell of a lot different now compared to yesterday. How quiet they are. Amazing difference. I must say it does feel nice. Having a genuine reason to be out on the bike. I've now got my uh, identification card with me, so if we do get stopped by the police or if going forward there's any military presence which could be checking, I'm all ID'd up. I am officially allowed to be out. Well, to and from work, not out. Can't just go out for a jolly. Wow, look at it round here. It's unbelievable what it's like. It's like it's Christmas Day or something. This is so surreal. It reminds me of I Am Legend. It's just hope you don't ever come to that. Tell you what mate, that's some bar roses you've got on them. And actually, um, I had a very strange email come today, which there might be nothing in it, but it just seemed a little bit odd. I had an email from the campsite where we was planning on doing our Ellen Valley tour. Obviously, no, they were just doing an update off government guidance. We are, as of the 22nd of March, you know, our campsites are officially closed until the 1st of June or the latest, the 1st of July. And I thought that's a bit of an odd email. Do they know something we don't know? That's something they mentioned. Oh. It seemed a little strange to me to put a date when they're closed till and nobody else has put that. I might be reading into it wrong. People allowed to get in there once a day allowance of exercise by the look of it a bit of walking yeah this does seem funny how everything's closed everything's shut down I'm expecting to see Will Smith jump out with his dog in a minute I am legend Yeah, the brakes are good on this bike. <laughs> Ooh, I could stop in no time. I think to stop like that on the fire blade, I would have had to start in braking at junction two. Lovely, lovely, jubbly, let's go. And this corner is a lovely corner here coming off the motorway. But the surface is always absolutely shocking. Look at it. Oh. I'll never forget the smell of the sweat from under your armpits.
It wasn't a grass that tickled your ass, it was my little finger. Magic moments were too hard to Okay then guys, there we go. That's day number two done. I think we're looking sunny tomorrow. So we're we'll, uh, looking we'll out to get on the boat tomorrow. See what tomorrow brings. See if there's any changes overnight, any updates. And it's the wife's birthday tomorrow. But anyhow, happy birthday to your lovely wifey. Okay then peeps. We're done for the day. We'll see you in the morning. Boom to the room to the moon and back. Bye, right,